welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we're going over to Netflix today for a, a German financed uh, rom com drama with Croatian and Turkish influences. There we go. And for the most part, yeah, I, th I thought it was going to be a dub version with it being German, but I think it's mostly English because it seemed to work okay with. Of course, there are subtitles available as well. But uh, overall, uh, certainly watchable in whatever language it throws at you. Of course, of course, there's Turkish and Croatian in it as well. So very interesting uh, combination. But it sort of worked with this one. We're going to look at something called Far Away. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It would be great to have you on board. Spread the word. Film reviews like this, TV drama reviews, information blogs, even the odd quiz at special occasions. So if you can join us and enjoy, please do so. And if you are pressing buttons and you're still pressing buttons, if you can press that little like button. I'm just trying to get to a target of 15 likes or thumbs ups for these vlogs. So if you can help me at that target, uh, I'd be very appreciated. Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, some we do, some we don't, but if you can help me, that would be wonderful. Thank you very much. So, a German finance rom-com drama stars Naomi Krauss and Goran Bogdan, the two main protagonists in this, plenty of other people as well. Directed by a, a lady called Vanessa Yop, J-O-P-P, -P, Vanessa Yop. Internet Movie Database got a good score. It's doing all right, over 1,100 reviews and scores, and it's getting an average of 6.6 .6 out of 10, so... Holds well for a, a, a made for TV feel, yeah, probably a little bit better than that actually, a little bit better than a, a just a made for TV uh, film. This one, I think, from the presentation, from the how it appears on the screen. Rotten Tomatoes audience, they liked it as well. 87% positivity, so that's not too bad, is it? And what's it about? We know it's a rom com, a bit of a drama. So it's Zainab Altin is at the end of a tether. She is. She's overworked and pushed around by her husband, daughter, and aging father. Although we don't we don't see too much of that backstory. It gets on with the where she goes very, very quickly. It probably um, yeah, uh, there's not a big build-up to this. So, uh, yeah, even though she's pushed around by husband, daughter and ageing five, you sort of get that in the space of five or ten minutes. A mother's death and her funeral, which nearly ends in total disaster, is the last straw for Zeynep. She leaves Munich and escapes to an island in Croatia. In the house her mother bought secretly years ago and gifted to her in a will. She hopes to find peace, freedom and herself. Well, she hopes to go and flog it, to be honest with you, then probably come back and spend the money. If only the former owner, Josip, an islander through and through, wasn't still living on the same property. So there's the old rom-com. You know what's going to happen with this guy. There's nothing. There's no bells and whistles with this. There's no time travel or anything like that. You know what's going to happen. What are other people? What are the critics thinking? The public seem to like it. Uh, M. N. Miller from Ready Steady Cut website said, Far Away is a funny and sweet romantic comedy about people of a certain age. <laughs> there's any rules about age? There's, there's younger people in it as well. Um, a funny, thing, funny thing to say, but at least he likes it anyway. Jason Flat, he's from But Why Not, uh, what, sorry, But Why Though uh, website. He said, Far Away is a satisfying middle of the road drama. Of self discovery with a tinge of romance. If you focus less on the plot vehicle and more on the moment to moment parts of Zinnip's journey, you'll get on just fine with this one. Yes, I agree, Jason. But John Server from Decider website wasn't as impressed. He said, Far away is nice, but nice doesn't always mean good. Well, I'm sorry, John. In this case, I think it does. So I think you're wrong, mate. Right, my little points, my little points of view, very, very short, not much to say about this. It's to say it's no bells and whistles with this one. You get what it says on the box. It's a, it's a rom-com with a bit of a dramatic element to it. I'm going to give this a score of 6.5 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it. John didn't. He said it was nice, but doesn't always mean good. I thought it was nice and good. So, yes, I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 10. I mean, there's, there are routine rom-coms, and this is one. But full credit for a great location. Uh, I'll move there tomorrow. And two main characters that you can invest in and you like. Um, what's wrong with that? And, you know, all right, one, one starts all stroppy and awkward, and you just you know where it's going, but it is what it is. The story is quick. Waste no time getting down to the nitty-gritty. No slow build-up with this one. And it made me smile, which is all you want, really, from a rom-com, isn't it? You just, just want to smile. And I think I even chuckled a couple of times as well at some of the antics on the screen. 
But that's all that really matters with this sort of film. A very, very good, by the numbers, rom-com drama. And as I said, uh, I'd love to move move to the location tomorrow if I could, certainly get away from this wet and windy Manchester, Altrincham, Cheshire weather we've got today. Today, that's for sure. So let, let me know, guys. Let me know what you think if you get to watch this. And then a short, short and brief uh, with this one. But uh, yeah, good fun, good fun. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you about this film or anything to do with film and TV. Just just, just, like, just get in touch, it's great to hear from you. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.